on yesterday's talk about Saul, and no, the whole study isn't about Saul, but these two days go together. Um, we talked about how Saul was disobeying the Lord. He created a monument to himself. And God even told him to go and I will hand this um, army over to you, the Amalekites. You will win. I will give them over to you and your nation will have the victory. You need to obey me though and you need to destroy everyone and everything. Don't keep anything for yourself. Of course, he keeps all the best livestock for himself and he like half obeys, half disobeys. And it's crazy that scripture tells us why he did it because he feared people. He wanted to do what was gonna give the people favor in his eyes. He wanted to get all that livestock, give it to the troops, let the people have it so that they could be happy with him. Now go and strike Amalek and devote to destruction all that they have. Do not spare them, but kill both man and woman, child and infant, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. But Saul and the people spared Agag and the best of the sheep and of the oxen and of the fattened calves and the lambs and all that was good and would not utterly destroy them. All that was despised and worthless they destroyed. Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned for I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord and your words because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. See, the thing is, Saul obeyed what he feared. He didn't fear the Lord or he would have obeyed him. How many times do we fear people more than God so we obey people and we obey sin and we obey our flesh instead of obeying the Lord? Like we're supposed to share the gospel, but we get too afraid that somebody might get mad or tell us no, or we're supposed to, you know, maybe confess your sin or go to a friend that you see struggling and, it, and graciously say, hey, like this isn't matching up with the word of God. Maybe it's things like friends are gossiping and you know you should shut it down, but instead you join in. So what are some ways recently in your life, write it down, that you have been tempted to disobey God because you wanna gain favor with people. You have a fear of man, so you obey them because we obey what we fear. Even when scripture tells us the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. When has that been a temptation for you recently? So Jesus taught us that where our treasure is, there our heart will be also. What are you afraid of? Because that's gonna really show you what your treasure is. What are you afraid of losing? What are you afraid of never achieving? And then bring that to the Lord and say, God, I am sorry that I have been treasuring this more than treasuring you to the point where I'm willing to disobey you in order to gain it or to keep it. So this act is actually really general, but take some time and sit in prayer and just confess your heart to the Lord and ask him, say, Holy Spirit, give me a loyalty to you that is stronger than any pull or any desire for another treasure of this earth. Ask the Lord through prayer to really just give you a heart that is loyal to him, that will obey him even in the hardest moments, and that treasures him above people.